the number eight high school in Irkin, NFL, Earl Campbell. Number When I see Earl Campbell, I think there's no running back more fun to watch. I would make the argument that nobody has ever been more powerful as running back than Earl Campbell. Earl Campbell had two or three amazing seasons and then blew his knee out and that was the end of that. He just joined us. Earl Campbell is out of the ball game. He wasn't able to play as long as some of the other great running backs. I, I don't think that diminishes anything that, that he's done, though. There's a guy that came into the NFL, not unexpectedly, an impact player. Coming out of Texas, the Heisman Trophy winner, and he comes in here and helps these guys out, running the ball over 300 times in that season. Uh, just an incredible back. Here's a guy that not only became the NFL's Rookie of the Year, but the MVP. In only his 12th pro game, that Tyler Rose was in full bloom in front of the national audience of Monday Night Football. Watching that game with my dad and Earl Campbell just went racing right up the sideline against the Miami Dolphins defense. At the 50, he may go. Touchdown! Campbell wasn't a one-season wonder. He became only the second player to lead the NFL in rushing three straight years, including a career-high 1,934 yards in 1980. <laughs> In pro football's passing revolution, Campbell is the aberration, the one man larger than the revolution. Everything's bigger in Texas, including the legend of hometown hero, Earl Campbell. You just could not tackle him with a hand or an arm. In fact, you couldn't tackle him with a shoulder a lot of times, unless you had two or three sets of shoulders. He turned linebackers into speed bumps and defensive backs into roadkill. I love to watch Earl, the way he ran over people. Video of Earl Goring, Isaiah Robertson, is one of the most famous videos in history. He gave out so many more hits probably than he took. It's like, boom, you just say, hey, meet me, I'm Earl Campbell. Boom, hey, here, have some shoulder pads. Here, have some arm. Boom, here, have some elbow. And when his playing days are over, he won't have to write his autobiography. He runs it on every play. Despite his brief career, our number eight Heisman winner's impact was long-lasting. If Earl was in a game, you didn't leave your seat, you put the binoculars on 34, and you stayed with him, whatever he did. It's just so tough to say that Earl Campbell is not high on that list because in his prime, that was the standard by which everything was measured in the sport. Earl Campbell's not on your list. You shouldn't have a list.